All right, Algebra 1 students, today we're going to look at Unit 2, Lesson 2, which is on Writing Equations to Model Relationships, Part 1. All right, so let's write down the lesson goals as I go through them. I can tell which quantities in a situation can vary and which ones cannot. So within a situation, there will be things that can change or vary. And then there will be other things that are stuck and, and they have to be the way they are. So we need to be able to pick those differences out. I can use letters and numbers to rewrite equations or to write equations representing the relationship in a situation. So for the quantities that cannot vary, we will typically use their number. For quantities that can vary, we'll use letters to represent that they can be multiple numbers. And then we'll want to write those patterns in a mathematical way to be used. All right, our vocabulary words are still constraint. Remember, a constraint is something that limits what is going on. So it might limit the type of number, whether they're positive or negative. It might limit whether it's a, whether decimals are allowed or not. Um, so just think of this constraints and how everything's limited. A model is just a representation of the mathematics. It could be a graph. Here our focus will be on equations, which also are models. We can also look at tables. All right, so for tomorrow's discussion, what we want to do is we want to do this warm up. So there's four problems I want you to try. First, I want you to do 25% of 200. Write down what that answer is, do it mentally. Then do 12% of 200. Then do 8% of 200. You might wanna write down some tricks that you did in your head to help you with those three, because they may help you with the last one. In the last one, it says P% percent of 200. So in this one, you're actually gonna make a math problem that could give you the answer depending on what P is. So think about the math you did for each of those and then have that help you figure out a pattern there. All right, bring that to class tomorrow. That's gonna to start our discussion. Thank you.